Ground, this is Alpha. Since we have multiple Alphas in the squad setup, we are call sign Chief. Alrighty. Caleb, All right, ground. Or, like hi, this is ground. I'm ready for brief. I... Squad leads to right. over here. I'm gonna do this brief on yelling. So, uh, here is the situation. We are a local garrison of the UNSC on a desert planet. We are in charge of a colony in the outer worlds. And uh, this is post-Covenant War. So, we're just chilling. Now, uh, Covenant never came here, but the locals uh, have done a few things to kind of arm themselves. We'll get to that in a second. But the whole situation is there was a uh, some sort of explosion and then mini earthquake, uh, and it is marked in the center of Kadal with uh, that zone. Uh, our local interpreter here can tell us more in just a second, but our job is basically going to be to assess and uh, quell any uprisings that are going on because the locals are freaking out. Uh, Metagame-wise, uh, if you die, you have two choices of reinsert. You can go take a mongoose, or you can come up to me and I'll coordinate uh, with ground forces to get you in via a falcon drone driven by AI. Uh, also, you are 10 man squads. Uh, your assets uh, that are listed on the map, or excuse me, uh, that are marked on the map are uh, transport hogs, MG hogs, uh, transport trucks, mongooses, and then two two man uh, warthogs that you can put resupply boxes in. I have already gone in and changed the MG ammo to the correct one. I'm sorry about that. They're the exact same texture, it's just like what happened in the Swedish map. Uh, and then there's also r and Vix at the wrench. But basically this op is go there, find out what the hell's going on, locals might shoot at you, so you have to shoot back, and otherwise most people are asleep right now because it is 1am. Uh, local interpreter, do you have anything to say? Uh, my people are quite superstitious. Weird. I don't know much uh, regarding that explosion. Uh, it sounded more like a thwamp, so it didn't it technically explode, something hit the ground. Uh, that was about an hour ago, and people all up and He's paraphrasing what I sent him. A lot of people are out on the streets, that shouldn't be. Uh, quite a bit of time uh, after the government war, we decided to grab AKs as whatever we could find. Um, they are quite religious. They do like religious texts. They've been placed not all around the AO. Uh, I tried Thought to read them. They threatened me and called me a heretic. Uh, so I ran away. Uh, please try to limit the damage if you can, but whatever exploded was probably caused by a group of fanatics that must be stopped. Basically, PID on enemy is uh, local populace, so they're probably dressed up in a bunch of stuff. They have uh, ancient AK-based gear, RPGs. Not sure if you guys studied your history books, but yeah. Uh, you guys are free to leave base whenever you need. Good luck, have fun. And uh, yeah. Go find out what happened. All right. Oh, well, let's see. I think it probably head to the stadium and then turn up. The so, um... Is this the death red religion? We don't world? have any of them on today, but I have a nice little custom alien force. We won't see this till uh, the next stop. All right. But this puppy impacted here. Think are necessary. Make sure And these guys are all around. Let's mount up and get out. And I'm also gonna spawn some uh, FIA stuff. Okay. Where are my squad leads? Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Hello. Ready. Alpha Grand. Go ahead, Alpha. We have uh, an initial uh, LZ um, marked. We're not going to go in with the vehicles, but we'll uh, move up. Please confirm right. if accepted. Alright, so after they leave, I'll, um, actually, I can just go to normal. Okay, so good job with the garrisons. Um, I've added a few 50 cal technicals from the FIA, uh, so we'll be fielding those in as QRF. I'm going to put down a few uh, empty vehicles around the crash site. And this is just a nice little, like, first AO to be a bit of a teaser, but, yeah. Good job. 
Yeah, I like practice every now and again. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw one static. Uh, overwatching the site itself, it's just gonna be a 50 cal. Actually, I'm just gonna use optray ones. Screw it. <laughs> but, oh, the, but the um. The point of this is we're trying not to have any, like, insurrectionist symbols, so that's why all these kits are custom, because it's not insurrectionist, we're just trying to point it out to be something more sinister. Yeah. Standing by. I say as I grab an insurrectionist turret on accident. the only one bringing a warthog with a minigun. There's at least four more. Uh, I don't know about Alpha, but Command's hey. just in a transport hub. Using your transport hug. Bravo's using both. All right, well, good for Bravo. We're all ready. Let's go. Standing by. All right. So most of this stop, we're gonna do a night vision, guys. Sorry for the little eye strain there. So, how many patrols do you have going? Two right now? Uh, there's two eight man patrols. Okay. Sort of going around. Uh, double, oh, okay. do two more real quick. Uh, I said All four. Right. That's okay. And then we'll be bringing in reinforcements uh, from, like, you know, trucks and stuff. But this is uh, just, uh, you know, let them have a little bit of fun. Because this was going to be the op in case the other op crashed because we're teething the mod set. But after today's performance, it looks like we uh, teethed it properly. It was just stuff that was untested in the TSB assets mod, so should be good. I'm gonna edit a few of these garrisons too, because it looks like they're not actually like behind the vehicles and stuff. Yeah, they were. They weren't wanted. They didn't want to turn quite a bit. Some of them didn't. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna throw down some camping lanterns too. This is bro with whatever people are in vehicles. Turn off your lights, it's not that dark. If it is, just pump up your little brightness a little bit. That should be good. So, uh, based off of the balance, because of what Optray is with all the heavy calibers, they're actually going to one-tap all these guys, but, like, they have to mag-dump them, uh, with the exception of, like, the 50 cals and the other turrets, so we probably won't have any reinserts to deal with, but just in case, uh, I'll handle it, and I'll walk you through how I do it, okay? Uh, yep. if they decide to do the helicopter. So this squad, by the way, uh, it is all AK-based from uh, a mod called Foes and Allies Pack, which I'm using to get those alien models as well. So we have uh, GP25 systems, Dragonovs, uh, AKMs, RPKs, uh, RPGs with actually different warheads. So this guy's carrying two um, VGLs and uh, an HE warhead. And then, you know, just AK stuff, and I varied their clothing based right, off of that as well. at least three... Plumes of smoke rising from the northwest. In, more than one impact site, more than likely. So these guys also don't have night vision, and I don't think I set the global skill, so let me do that real quick. This is Bravo, there's roadblocks, and they're shooting at us. Well, shoot back and then uh, head towards the nearest explosion. All right, let's see. Let's grab that. I'm gonna make a squad of 12. FIA, cars, truck. Ready. All right, so if you need QRF, uh, I've put a truck uh, towards the north. I don't think they're ever going to go up there, but if they get close, I'll drag it back. But just control shift C that and then paste it in an open area and then have the vehicle drive in. We can uh, drop off QRF and stuff. Yep. 
So I'm gonna start aggroing patrols. Good job with the garrisons. I'm just gonna have all the local patrols kinda come over, but the closer ones to base, I'm gonna keep them the way they are. So that car came in, got immediately mowed down. Not sure anyone was shot by it. But yeah. I'm actually going to send the QRF early because they, uh, they just chose an avenue that got them a little closer than I thought they would on the uh, site. So that's all good. Was that one of our hawks that just exploded? Nope, that was an off-road. I'm going to repaste the uh, template vehicle because I need to send them to Careless Old Fire so they don't bail out of the vehicle when they hear explosions like that. But I know, uh, automatic. Alpha, bravo, be advised. Enemies are pushing from the north. That was weird. That's also weird. His head is deformed. But I saw automatic join in late, so if he spawns, I'll probably just TP him up. No, no, it's not if we shoot a dog with a shotgun. Oh yeah, just NKM. That's weird. Probably it was in the chest and the vest is just taking around, so. And you got these guys up here basically holding that off. Bravo to Alpha. Go for Alpha. Can you send your medic to the south? Uh, our medic is in use the moment. I'll send him to the south shortly. Bravo's medic is down. So by the way, if you see Hunt IRs like right on top of positions, feel free to have a guy like look up and shoot it. But if they're like super high up, like the current one over there plus, uh, don't bother with it. And another thing we can do is you see how you have that easternmost check um, roadblock right there? I'd say ungarrison it and send it to them to uh, kind of outflank them. Because again, they uh, they penetrated at a pretty uh, weird angle here, so. This is weird. So I'm noticing some of their weapons aren't actually, like, killing them in one hit. I think it's because they're hitting the plates, and the plates are just tanking it. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Be advised, enemy technical coming down the road from the west. So yeah, if you see them, just start, like, mag-dumping units and key it, because it's, it's vanilla plates, but I guess... I don't know, like, when I tested these guys this morning, I one-tapped them with, like, four of the guns, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But, I don't know. It's just being weird, I guess. Andrews doesn't notice he's got a guy right here. There we go. Yeah, so we saw him through this little plate, which is why he aggroed. Now we got more guys coming in. That team moving up. Automatic disconnected, probably because he had the wrong mod set. MG hog coming up. Rocket herd was a big miss. There are no comms on 5 0 at all. No coordination between squads right now. I have no idea what they're doing. Grab the alpha. Yeah, speak of the devil. <laughs> Go for alpha. 
Uh, I don't suppose you could spare a few dudes uh, sent to the north, about two enemy squads coming So I'm going to start popping uh, some random down. flares in the yeah, AO, I'm just gonna, pretending that the GP25 over. guys have flares to send. Uh, usually I also use like a mortar for that, but uh, stand by. I didn't set one up. I'm just putting three up to try to illuminate the area. So these guys are engaging up the road. MG's come up, it is spraying dudes down. After the ground, I need that marker so we know where you are. Marker's been dropped. Yeah, and this is the lighting we uh, have outside. Okay. It's pretty uh, guys, you know, easy to uh, see, but start moving over towards the chat. keeping uh, us on MBG. Yeah, so this op, you know, it's supposed to be like a nice little hornet's nest thing. Yeah. No, she got the, uh, the corvette that's on there mm -hmm. as well. I like what you did. You broke up the, uh, the AI to make mm -hmm. them move faster. Just do note that the AI do behave a little more stupidly, but if you want them to move quicker, that's definitely the right thing to do. Yeah. Like, they're a lot quicker to set themselves to hold fire or, uh, fire if only engaged. But now that four-man team is going to ambush ground, uh, little fire team. Uh, Alpha, be advised, ground is pushing to your south, towards you from the north. Body armor being a lot more effective than what I tested. How wounded is this guy? Yeah, I don't think I just don't think they're hitting him. Yeah, I know it's literally the vest just tanking the shots. So we'll just have to end key more units as we see them. Grenades thrown. Yeah, so that that should kill them. All right, so for whatever reason, the vests are deciding to tank a lot more damage than what I tested this morning. So if you see any AI in gunfights, just end key them if they get shot. Let's yeah. try to recover this a little bit. Yeah, let's see if this and G seems to be taking quite a few bullets to kill them. Yeah. weird because if we were to look at the settings here add-on options those vests probably about to yell at me about it the vests aren't really set anywhere that so, was pushing for to your west alpha so what i can do is the one backup option i've got uh ace medical i'm going to set that to 0 0.01 and have it override. This is high send traffic. Uh, are these guys pushed to the bullet button? Uh, no. I have main adjustment though. That should take care of it. Okay, firm. Thank you very much. Yeah, so. Are you end keen stuff now? I've end keyed some of the guys. All right, keep end keying. Um, I just set the server's AI critical threshold to nothing. 
So I don't know why, but something glitched out with vanilla armor and it's just... Yeah. It's just not working. Wolf calling in. Yeah, that's fair. So, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? No, it's just vanilla armor values being weird. Something just happened with that vehicle. What specifically, I don't know. Ah. Uh, Bravo to high. Could Pogo get a heal? He's getting thrown about in the air. Well, they do have a radio on 50 for that. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I was watching that. <laughs> Going forwards and backwards. I mean, the last thing I can do is just turn it completely off and hope that helps. That's so weird. Again, I even, I tested this on the server this morning, I don't understand. You guys are tanking minigun shots, like... I don't know what to tell you guys, I had this tested this morning, I have their damage values literally turned off right now, I, I don't understand it either, so I'm trying to do what I can. Try to hit him in the head or the limbs. But I'll have to add this in. Yeah, there's this guy with tiger stripes to the north northwest of me. He's just eating bullets. The only way they're going down is by head shots or limb shots. Head shots are key. Alright, don't send in any more QRF because we're having a bug with the units themselves. I think it's I think it's just vanilla body armors for whatever reason have decided to glitch out completely. Because right now I've got the uh I've got their critical damage threshold set to zero, so if they take any damage, they die. And it's still tanking the bullet, so I think something weird with the script, like, there's some weird script running that I'll have to look into. No, because, again, as I tested this this morning on the server, and I was one-tapping them all. So, it's... I have no idea. That it really... that opens the realm of what this might be. Uh, it might be that someone has something weird loaded that's stopping me from, uh, you know, getting things, but I'll, I'll just have to look at the RPT. That'll tell me if someone had something weird loaded, and I can base it off of that. Because worst comes to worst to prevent people from loading stuff outside the mods, I just get rid of the old keys that, uh, you know, from mods we're not using anymore. Well, okay, as, it was by myself, but for ballistics testing, all you need is just go on the server. Hold on. 
Dex, thanks for the 10 bucks. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I gotta apologize to the player base for this one, but... Yeah, something is just... They're not even getting bruised. So it's... it's weird. Yeah, but it, it's even more strange because the only thing that... The only difference here is I'm using units from a different mod set, uh, from a different mod. And I'm using, I have them with vanilla body armor. And they're, some are dropping on their own without me end keying them, so headshots are still the thing. So I think it's, I think it is literally Double. just vanilla uh, be advised being to your north really an weird. Arm insurgent camp ground commands pushing that direction now, watch your fire. Acknowledged. So, again, just means I'm gonna probably, while I'm doing D&D &D after this op, to go figure out. Don't know how that option to gonna work, but it's surrounded We have a smoke dogs. pillar with a pod ground. Cannot do anything with, with it. Alright, start ungarrisoning uh, everything and sending it to the center. Uh, don't send any additional units on top of that, though. Ground to high. This is high, send traffic. Uh, we have arrived at the source of one of the explosions, and it appears to be some sort of pod. I'm going in. Roger, uh, hold your position. I'm going to send a team of people to investigate it. Uh, pod, you say? Like, what does it look like? Uh, like the type of pod someone launches from orbit. Cargo crate sort of thing. A firm. I'll send a team to go check that out. Wait one. Welcome. Understood. All right, form up, secure the area, and hold for ground's team. All right, manage the remaining AI in the AO. I'm gonna get this sent up. Uh, just you know, end key if they're getting shot at, essentially. Yep. Trying to think, like, I'm racking my brain here. I need to I need to focus on the damn AO. Alpha, but... I'll call signs. We are covering west northwest. Standing by. Yeah, I'll spawn it back here instead. I'm trying to think, like, what, what would cause that? Ready. And then I know we have research guys. Waiting orders. It has to do with the body armor. I know that's that true. got the eastern side. I know that it was working fine before we did the previous mission because I went on the server and tested it before I got in Teamspeak. So I know that on its own it should be fine. So the only variable that changes is the player. So I think someone loaded something weird and it messed with the damage values. I just ran up and mag dumped a guy. All right, I'll charge him. Understood. Ground, this is high. Be advised, uh, MG Warthog and Transport Warthog coming up to your position. They're just navigating through the stuff at this time. Over. Understood, high. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive these myself. <laughs> I 
Ground Alpha Bravo contact coming from the south road. Is no one coming south? People are covering south, we're just informing you contracts are coming. Uh, Ground, this is high. Uh, last call sign, I'm sorry about that. Uh, break. A uh, scientist has been deployed. He Contact. is going to take a look at the sites, uh, do a quick seep of the perimeter, and then we'll go ahead and uh, index. Uh, understood. Am oh, I late? Uh, we're about to be over because there's a weird tech issue going on. Apparently my, uh, officer is... Alright, Alpha five, Bravo. So uh, switch the perimeter. Gather up anything we may miss, clear it out, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Say again? Uh, sweep the perimeter, uh, see if you can find anything else, and then we'll go from there. Well, hi, has the scientist investigate the pod. Uh oh, oh, uh. oh. So pretty much, just there it out This is high. I just wanted you to kill the one last guy. Someone just did it. Uh, due to tech issues, I do apologize. I'm going to go ahead and index. Uh, hope you still had fun, but I'm sorry they were spongy. I'll go over why. All right. So, I hope you guys oh. still had fun. The issue with that op was, for whatever reason, the really simple tack vests from Vanilla, I decided to give the AI, even though I tested these before we did the previous op, uh, live on server, uh, just decided to turn into god vests, and now you couldn't chest shot the dudes. So... I don't know why. Uh, my money, I'm going to look through the RPT. My money is someone loaded something weird that did that. Because, like I said, I literally ballistic tested all these. I set custom armor values. But, you know, it was, you're supposed to be able to one tap these dudes. And, you know, I don't know. So, uh, I'll look through the RPT. I'll put a little warning out on the uh, op trade channel for, Van uh, for the Discord to say not to use vanilla vests. But, yeah. I don't know. Also, guys, don't shoot in the next, please. I know, I know it was short, but yeah. Ground, uh, you want to do a debrief? Oh, uh, wrong push, Chuck. Um, I, oh, I mean, was. there's really not much to go over in the debrief unless any of the squad leads want to cover something. Uh, as Alpha, I just want to say my team leads and my squad performed admirably. Well done. Um, you you listened. You did the things. Good job. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I know I wasn't leading the team, but if, play your fucking role. Seriously, if you take team lead, you're not a driver, you're a team lead. I will point out that there was a communication issue of that. Uh, Pogo was never informed of the friendly vehicles coming down the road that he was hearing. Uh, that's that's a poor communication because the guy was not wearing uniform, was wearing a big red thing. And some of the people we were fighting were also wearing red. So yeah, Pogo shot the guy that he was wearing, as the guy who was wearing red. Because nobody told him they were friendly to me. So uh, that, that's kind of playing your role. If you lead, you're supposed to inform the team leads, and team leads are supposed to inform people that, you know, friendlies are coming down this road. Watch out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um... What was going to happen anyway? Was something going to explode? Uh, it would have been a little defense, and then the thing in the box would have come out. Oh. 
Yeah. Great. Uh, That's okay. Would, would there have been an alien in the box? We'll find out with the next stop when I unfuck I these it... damage values. Because now I gotta no, check the other shoot. ones. <laughs> I bet it was a goat. I bet it was a smudge. Yeah, it's Master Chief coming out. <laughs> exactly. It's Master Chief, and it's the bomb that he was riding uh, uh, into the an enemy ship. Actually, <laughs> makes me wonder if you could take the individual armor pieces and put them on a goat. Jesus. Anyway, no. PRB. Anyway. I mean. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry that that second op was a bit of uh, a letdown, but you know, again. We're teething everything right now because everything with medical got thrown out the window. So I got to go study that RPT and see what the heck happened there. But thanks for watching. Go operate operationally. Hope you still enjoyed it nonetheless. Cheers and uh, have a good one.